Ciao football lovers of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, total different video, total different concept. To actually speak about Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, that will be played this weekend, the third against the four, two teams that are qualified to the quarterfinal of Champions League, well we'll do it in a super way, in a funny way, with some games, three games, the first one, guess five players trying to find the frames of the pictures, then we go towards transfers. Five transfers that we have to guess the player. And then we finish with a blind ranking of players. Both of the teams will be represented in the three mini games. Every time five players to guess. I didn't prepare the game so I have absolutely no idea of the level. We start immediately with the first one. Guess the player. When I'm watching the player, when I'm watching the hairstyle, of course, it is nobody else than Axel Witzel. Atletico Madrid player, let's go, it is absolutely correct. Axel Witzel, one-on-one, -on -one, easy level. Let's see if the level will increase or not. Second player, try to guess. Well, if I'm seeing here that the tattoo on the right arm, if I'm watching at the hairstyle, he changed hairstyle in the meanwhile, it is according to me, the pie. It is the pie. It is the pie that was actually wearing there the Barcelona shirt, where he's now representing Atletico Madrid. Third player, so two on two. That's another one. Easy. Guys, I give you a bit of time, but I already guessed the player. If I'm looking at the hairstyle, I know it. Being a Juventus fan, this should be without hint. I don't take any hint now. It is Alvaro Morata in the three on three. Super easy. Let's see if the fourth one will be a bit more difficult. Yeah, indeed. Looks like a bit more difficult. Oh hairstyle and you know that it gives me messy vibes but i'm not sure i am not sure about the fourth one should i use a hint for this one looks like with a bit of sun so he plays of course in spain let's go and use a hint champions league winner 2015 i want to try with lionel messi that was the first idea i had if i'm wrong this is a total disaster because how can you be wrong with lionel messi we go <laughs> it, is, it is Neymar, what a disaster, I was sure it was Lionel Messi, I don't know, Neymar, no, I was wrong on that one, fifth one, okay, last one before going to the second game, uh, I hope I'm not wrong on this one, I hope I'm not wrong on this one, I would go for the young 16 years old Barcelona player, Yamal, should I take a bit more time, should I use a int? I was already wrong and I don't want to end with a 3 on 5. According to me, it's Yamal, but I will use the hint. Current Barcelona player. Yeah, I go with Yamal. Indeed! Grande, Beppe! Grande, grandissimo. 4 on 5 for the first game. I think it was quite easy as level. If you are participating, if you are playing in the comments, let me know in that first game how much you had out of 5, uh, out of five questions. Now we go immediately to the second one. Rank the players blind ranking so i have five ranking i need to put the players without knowing which one is the next one of course we start with antoine griezmann look antoine griezmann is a player he, play, he played by the way in both teams that i really like especially the last world cup that unfortunately he lost against argentina i think more than mbappe he was the best player of l'équipe de france so he should go towards a really high number there in that special ranking of top five. I can't put Antoine Griezmann on number five, for example. But then we know, of course, that in Barcelona, in Atletico Madrid, in their history, there were a lot of big players. So let's put it in the middle. Number three, Antoine Griezmann. But I'm really curious about the next one. Ansu Fati. No, Ansu, Ansu Fati is a good player. Of course, he's a good player. No, Ansu Fati, I put him on fifth position because, of course, I'm waiting for the Neymar, the Messi. Maybe Simeone from Atletico Madrid. No, fifth position for uh, Ansu Fati, third position, Diego Forlan. Diego Forlan, great player from Atletico Madrid. Legendary player for, uh, of Atletico Madrid. Won a lot. Played also in different leagues. I put him in fourth. Five, Ansu Fati. Four, Forlan, three, Griezmann. Let's go with the fourth one. No, no, Martin. <laughs> no, that's diff no, But that's the problem. You, when you don't know what is upcoming, it, I can't finish with him second over the three other ones. I'm obliged now. I can't put him on first. So let's put him on two, hoping, praying that we have a better one on number one. We go with the number, uh, the last one to guess, Kirkic. 
What a disaster ranking. What a disaster ranking. But no, but that's the problem. You are waiting for the big ones. You are just waiting. You are there. You know, you are scared. Because Griezmann should be in that special ranking on number one. Farlan on number two. But then you see these kind of players. You never know what's coming out of the box. And then you have a problems like that. Anyway, if you decided otherwise, I hope you did much better than me. Because I was a total disaster. We go to the last and third mini game. Guess by the transfer. I'm sure I will be a total flop on this one. We start with the first one. Team Independiente, Atletico Madrid, Manchester City, Barcelona. So he played in both teams, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. In the meanwhile, he went to Manchester City. Really curious to understand who it is. Um, Independiente. It's coming from Argentina. Argentinian player that played at Atletico Madrid, at Manchester City, Barcelona. It's the last one the, with the with the heart attack. Uh, Sergio Aguero. It is Sergio Aguero. Let's go. And uh, it is. It is. Grande. One on one. Heart attack. No, he had problems with the heart. Sergio Aguero. It was an easy one, I believe, especially Manchester City before the two teams. The funny story, and people know, of course, is that he went to Barcelona to play with Lionel Messi. When he arrived, Messi was not there anymore. Poor, poor Sergio Aguero. Second one, Galatasaray, uh, Manisa Spor on loan, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Istanbul, Pasak Shehir, and Galatasaray. <sighs> Turkish player that played again in both teams. I would have gone immediately, you know, uh, even if it's German, but I would have maybe the first one I had in mind was Gundogan, but absolutely not. Uh, give me a hint. Midfielder. Midfielder, and he's back at Galatasaray. What is it not the guy? Turan? Uh, Arda Turan. Let's check. Indeed, grande. Arda Turan. No, 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 that was a difficult one. I needed a bit of time to understand it. Let's go to the third one. River Plate, Corinthians, West Ham United, Liverpool, Barcelona. Hebei, China, Fortune, Estudiantes. I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Argentinian, West Ham, I'm thinking about Tevez, but he never played at uh, Barcelona. I need a hint. 200 games for Barcelona, so it's a big player. 200 games with Barcelona, big player. Went to China. Hey, there was one big player that went to China. Liverpool. It's, it's Mascherano. Javier Mascherano. Javier Mascherano. Let's check. Si, 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 si. That was an easy one because the player is legendary but I was a bit confused with China I didn't remember that much four player Barcelona Youth Academy Barcelona Atletico Madrid Genoa Inter Milan Paris Saint Germain when we are speaking about Serie A usually I'm not bad at all uh, and I would go immediately the first thought is Diego Milito but I'm not sure if he played at Paris Saint Germain at the end it should be Diego Milito I'm just hesitant about Paris Saint-Germain. Who else did Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Genoa, Inter Milan? I see nobody else. Let's go. Currently a manager. Milito is not a manager. I know. I was sure about it. Pep Guardiola played at Brescia and Roma in Italy, not at Genoa and Inter. But is Diego Milito a manager at the moment? I don't see Diego Milito at Paris Saint-Germain. That, that's why I'm extremely hesitant. I go with Diego Milito, but now I'm really, 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 really scared. Let's go. Thiago Motta. And I know his career so good. I know him so good. I know because Juventus, they are looking for him maybe as a replacement of Massimiliano Allegri. This is a big fail. No, but every time that I'm playing this kind of game, there is that easy answer that I know so well. And I'm always saying, I can't miss on Serie A, and I totally miss it. Thiago Motta. We go with the fifth one and the last one for that minigame. Benfica, Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, Barcelona. Chelsea on loan, Barcelona on loan. Portuguese player. Looks like Joao Felix. This one should be extremely easy. Joao Felix. This one, I don't even need a hint. Let's go. Joao Felix. That one was super, super easy. That's the end, guys. It was a easy level. The the one that I'm really regretting was Thiago Motta. Um, guess the players was a total uh, blind. Rank the players blindly was a total disaster because I was absolutely fooled and I was not expecting like 
the players were going from the best one to the worst one and I had to rank them. But anyway, it was a, it was a nice game. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, maximum of like if you didn't. If you like the format also, you know, preparing these big games like Atletico uh, Madrid against Barcelona, let me know in the comment. Regarding the game, if you want a prediction, an early prediction, of course, well, both teams are super boosted after their qualification in Champions League. So I would go for a beautiful draw. No, Atletico Madrid wins. Close, but wins. Maybe a 2-1. 2-1 Atletico Madrid. That's what I'm guessing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Maximum of like. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Giuseppe. I hope you had a really fun time.